Hey guys, good afternoon. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today it is the day I'm getting my first chemical peel ever done. As I mentioned, I have been getting microneedling sessions, but this is a time where she recommended me that a chemical peel is better for my skin. Um, here's a little close up of how it's looking so far. In direct sunlight so y'all can see it better. I do have acne scars, I still have them. It's slowly been getting better, but you can definitely still see them, especially like in the shade, like this, or like here. So yeah, I'm about to go in and I will make sure to record the process. So I'm just in the waiting area because it's still not time yet. I have the appointment at 12 and it's 11.55. So yeah, I'm just inside. I have to press the little keypad for her room to let her know I'm here. And this is just to cleanse the face, right? Mm -hmm. This is the cleanse. So I do it in layers. So this is the first layer. So. And then this is the second. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I am out. I had to put a hoodie on because I did not want the sunlight hitting on my face and the wind is in my favor. It's blowing, it's keeping me cool, but Jesus Christ, that was painful. Not her applying it, but waiting. I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it because she applied it in my face. She did it by layers. And then the last layer she put, that's when I really felt it, guys. And um, she had to put a fan on my face to like cool the, down the pain because it was painful. It is painful. It's still hurting right now, but not as much as 20 minutes ago because I was under the fan for 25 minutes, 30 minutes. It felt like she literally rubbed jalapeno. Like she's rubbing and rubbing and rubbing jalapeno on my face because my face is burning right now. But I got the kit. Whenever I get home, I'll explain it more. I want to go home and just lay down. But yeah, um, at 4.30, I'm going to wash my face with the cleanser and put on the little retinol. And yeah, I'm going home. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> now I'm home the ride I made sure to have the fan on on high the entire ride home now that I'm here the pain definitely went down now it is the same level as my microneedling just stinging like a sunburn in the beginning no like I mentioned mm -mm. so I'm really happy that the first day you don't see anything there is no redness so i'm happy just in case you have to go somewhere but definitely make sure um to put a hat or a hoodie like i did just to avoid any sun because that is what's mentioned in the pamphlet no sun exposure at all no heat so i am definitely making sure that i'll be staying home because i don't want any um marks on my face so that's what i'm doing this is how my face looks it's shiny and at 4 30 i have to remove whatever is on my face and with the cleanser she provided 
and then I have to put the retinol. So yeah, no makeup on for the first day, although I'm not even gonna be wearing any makeup throughout this whole process just to play it safe. So I'll keep you guys updated today or tomorrow. So the time now is 4.30, which means I need to remove this and wash my face. It looks very different from the last time you saw me. It is very red, more of a dark red all these areas and i have been avoiding the sun so it is time to cleanse my face using the kit that they provided so i think it's really helpful that they give you a pamphlet just to make sure you know all the instructions what to do the first day what to expect what to do the following days so we are in day one really easy they give you like it is labeled by numbers so you know which one is which and these are the products that you get with your chemical peel with the brand rev skin you get the cream cleanser soothing balm just in case your skin gets super irritated and you place it on these certain areas then you get a sunscreen spf 30 that you can wear if you ever decide going outside and this is the retinol now the first thing i have to do is the post care number one silver moist cream cleanser this is it. I just have to wash gently with cold water, not rub anything. So let me just go ahead and do that right now. Maybe just dampen my face with some cold water. So now that my face is cleansed and it is dry, I'll move on to the next step, which is the retinol. I just have to apply a pea-sized amount all over my face. So this is how my skin is looking right after I placed the retinol. I did notice that it just looks darker. I don't know if y'all can see it, just darkness already happening around, which, you know, that means like peeling process is gonna start soon. But yeah, this is how it looks. Retinol actually smells really nice, smells nice and fruity. So that is all that I have to do for it day one. And it does mention that you cannot wear makeup on the first day. And I will try to keep you guys updated if anything happens tonight. If not, then I will catch you guys tomorrow morning. And it is the next day. And as you can see, my face is super, super oily and greasy. You can probably see a reflection on my forehead. Can't wait to take a shower right now and i'm gonna use the cream cleanser no retinol in the morning just in the afternoon so i'll catch you guys in a bit so it is already nighttime guys i didn't finished recording in the morning i'm sorry about that but i already washed my face put the retinol at night and this is how it's looking no peeling at all it's just that my face looks really really dark it looks like i burnt my face off the pamphlet and rachel did mention that this is normal common but it does feel stiff maybe my face feels a little stiff but yeah let's see what tomorrow brings good morning everyone i just woke up it is the next day and my skin is way more tighter it looks the same but way more tighter like when i was brushing my teeth my face looks so ugly because your skin looks like all shriveled look but yeah i no peeling yet um but my face is oily like Oh, I don't know if it's because I apply the retinol at night, but oh, really? You see? So let's just go ahead and wash our face. So 
I finished cleansing my skin and yeah, nothing much. I'm just gonna make sure to stay home, not go out in direct sunlight, make sure I put a hat on if I have to, put sunscreen, but nothing much. No difference, I hope, be you in the afternoon or tomorrow. Not gonna lie, I was starting to get a little bit worried. Um, I was just overthinking and like, is my face burnt? Like, am I even gonna peel? But we have some good news. So I am definitely peeling. Sorry, I was eating. Um, but first all over my mouth, it's just, you know, the basic movements, even when eating, I can feel the skin stretching. So that is why. And you can see that under is very, very pink. Um, so that's super delicate. But nowhere else, a little bit of my nose area is just my skin is super oily, guys. It's disgusting. Like, I have nothing on. It's just, I don't know. I think it's my skin reacting to it being so dry. It's like, I got you, fam. Produces more oil. But I'm gonna shower and I'll try updating you after the shower if there's any difference, if they're peel more. But yeah. Now I'm moving on to the retinol. I only have to apply this at nighttime and I have to avoid the areas that are peeling. So just a pea size amount, like so. So I am now ready for bed. Just wanna give you a little last um, update on how my skin is looking right now. I washed my face like I showed you guys and I applied the retinol. And everything is pretty much dried up, but you can still see the little flaps. And you can see the new skin is really pink. So yeah, I'll try to give you guys an update tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. The ball is rolling. As you can see, I am officially, officially peeling. I have some around my nostrils, a little bit on my nose, uh, and a lot on my face. I am not supposed to be peeling this manually it's supposed to come out by itself whenever it's ready it will peel i have just i just have to leave it alone um but yeah i just woke up i was super happy to see this i was a little bit dowdy i thought like i mentioned i was getting scared you know because i wasn't seeing any peeling but that's okay as long as we're seeing something i think i'm gonna go out i have to take my aunt somewhere so i'm gonna take precaution i'm gonna have a sun hat and I will use the sunscreen they provide. So I'm just gonna wash my face again with the number one. Oh, so this is a tinted sunscreen. Mm, it feels like I'm applying makeup. Ah! This is weird. I guess it's supposed to like help uh, when when you feel really self-conscious if you have to go out somewhere, you can apply this on. So it could just look like you don't know your foundation shape instead of you look burnt. It actually makes it look darker, honestly. I think just the shade is too dark. And that is it. Uh, it didn't, <laughs> it looks funny, honestly. Um, but yeah, that is it guys. I will try to update you in the afternoon if there's any major changes. We are peeling. <laughs> oh my God. So it definitely took me like four days to actually start seeing something. But wow, it has progressed during this entire day. You can see it it's weird it feels like paper mache on my face i cannot believe this is dead skin but and i actually have some scissors they mentioned in the pamphlet that you are able to cut the ones that already have been like peeling already you just don't yank the rest because you know it's not ready yet so that's what i'm gonna do right now i hope they work i don't think they will but we'll see so 
so i'm just gonna wash my face and apply the retinol on the areas that are not peeled yet so let's do that It didn't do a really good job removing all that tinted sunscreen, but I'll make sure to take a shower tomorrow morning. And yeah, that is all. As you can tell, that's the new skin. It is very bright pink compared to the rest of my skin. I haven't noticed any peeling on my forehead yet, but as you can tell, we are making some progress. So I will keep you guys updated tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Um, more peeling happened overnight. I was, you know, moving around the bed and it just happens. As you can see, that little area, it's more darker. It's fresh, I would say. Yeah, a lot of peeling. But I'm going to go ahead and shower and I will update you guys in the afternoon if there's any major changes. So it is the end of the day. I'm getting ready to go to sleep. And as you can tell, the bottom skin um, has fallen because I took a nap during the day and I was just tossing and turning. So it really did break off. But yeah, as you can tell, just more and more peeling. It's crazy. It feels like paper mache that's the same texture it's super thin and it's weird but i still don't see any peeling on my forehead um but maybe it will come tomorrow but yeah i'm starting to see just everywhere at the bottom as you can tell it's very pink so that's the new skin and for some reason right here it's a little bit more irritated so i am actually going to use the soothing balm they provide that they just really recommend only when needed so i am feeling a little bit irritated and it does look red so i'm just gonna apply this after i cleanse my face so yeah I just opened the soothing balm. I'm just gonna apply a little bit. And just this area is the only place that's really a little bit of red. Gym. In the pamphlet, it does say to not go overboard with this only when needed. And I just feel like I do need it right here because this is the only place that stings a little bit. Maybe it got irritated. Uh, whenever I applied the tinted sunscreen or maybe that area just didn't cleanse well but yeah, nothing major I am going to apply the retinol I am not applying this to my new skin only to the old areas and I did forget to mention this but I actually have a pimple underneath this is already peeled. I'm not pulling, I'm not yanking it off. I'm just trying to show you where it is. Right there. Can you believe it? But these are the two pimples that I had before doing the chemical peel and they're just there buried dry. I wonder how it will look once it peels. But yeah, that is all the updates for tonight. I will update you guys tomorrow morning. the next day and this is how my skin is looking uh, so far just the same areas have been peeling you can really see the skin tone difference of my new one very pink and like i did mention yesterday at night i applied the little soothing balm because for some reason this area was just really irritated now it's the next day and i feel more soothed it doesn't hurt anymore but yes you can tell pink area mouth is super different really different skin tone it's crazy and nothing on my forehead yet well actually i'm lying can you see a little bit but not as big as these in my cheeks this is weird but 
I hope the camera can capture this. Can y'all see the little gunk? I'm not, I'm just trying to flip over, but look at this guys. It looks like a pore strip, like a charcoal pore strip taking out all of my little gunk in my pores. How disgusting is this? And it's similar just everywhere. Can y'all see the little white dots in there? I think that's like the sebaceous glands, the junk that's in my pores. Well, guys, I just don't know what's wrong with my pores. My pores are always clogged. It's disgusting. I don't know why. I don't know why. But just looking at this is so satisfying. When I saw the little white balls, I'm like, is that really like, junk from there? But anyways, uh, that is all for today. I still have that little pimple. It's ridiculous that I would be the one to get acne during this time but that's the only one i am still curious about these that dried up yeah that is all for today i am gonna shower in the afternoon and i will update you on how my skin is looking hey guys it is already in the afternoon getting ready to go to bed and this is how my skin is looking at the end of the day more peeling the bottom of my chin is practically already clear just like a few little stubborn pieces uh, a lot fell while I was in the shower. I guess the warm like steam really helped it loosen up. But this I was looking uh, a little bit more peeling on the forehead, not a lot. As you can see, the areas close to my brow have been getting a little bit clearer. As you can see this flap. And, and I remember when I told you that I had a pimple and I was excited to see how it looks. It is still there and I remember I had two. So I know one is still there and then I have like a really big acne scar right there. It's huge, it looks deep. So that's not fun at all, but hey, what can I do? I don't know what happened, but yeah, just a big chunk of skin still left to fall off. Um, but my skin is looking really smooth. I tried touching it when my hands were clean and it just feels really nice. So yeah, I have an appointment back with Rachel so she can recheck my, my skin to see how it's going. And that's on Wednesday. So hopefully by then it could go away a little bit more. But I washed my face already and I applied the retinol. So I will keep you guys updated tomorrow. Good morning, it is the next day and this is how my face is looking definitely more peeling i still have that pimple which is annoying and we are finally seeing peeling on my forehead it is so exciting and yeah just peeling 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 this is super i'm really relieved that kind of everything is almost gone not really and i'm sure once i get in the shower you know the steam i'm I'm not showering with really hot water because I don't want to hurt my new skin. But yeah, hopefully with that, it can kind of loosen up the other stuff. And I will update you in the afternoon. But look how annoying this is. She's huge. Um, this one is... Where is it? I actually forgot. I think it's this one. It dried out. But this is an acne scar. Fun. Fun. Well, I will catch you guys in the afternoon. Hey guys, it is already in the afternoon and as you can tell the dead skin on my cheek areas is gone. I don't know, like just during the day, like I said, the shower really helps it like loosen up. So it was getting really flappy and I would just try to cut it off and eventually I just have this little piece and a lot on the edges as y'all can tell. And my skin is very red. And I can get a good glimpse of how my scars are looking. Scars are still there, but I can tell it's very minimal. And I don't know, my face just feels soft. I try touching it whenever I have my hands clean. And it just feels so soft and not bumpy. 
and i'm gonna show you a clip of the little strips of dead skin how it looks like on the inside it looks like a no strip guys it really takes that gunk with it so i'm gonna show you just be warned it's disgusting that's every single little piece of dead skin that will fall off it looks exactly like it it's so gross like it just shows that every single pore in my face had that nasty stuff and that's what creates acne like once your pores are all filled with all that stuff and if it doesn't get cleaned out correctly it's gonna form a pimple so i don't know how i'm gonna be able to keep up with that like okay my pores might be clean right now but it's probably not gonna take so long for it to get back to get filled up again but yeah that's how my face is looking i don't have any pimple right here remember the one that i showed you guys it already dried up this is a pink scar but i can definitely tell that the scars are smoothing out a little bit they're not gone completely but they don't look they were before and i i still have just a little bit just this area of dead skin and whoa y'all can tell look at look at a big difference look at my skin tone and then boom very pink and remember the pimple it was still there and it popped so i don't know how that's gonna look still have some dead skin right there and just that little piece so i'm just gonna wash my face to go to bed and i will catch you guys tomorrow that's when i'm meeting rachel so i'm excited hopefully she can cleanse my face do a last minute to just remove all the things that are not there so yeah let me wash my face I feel so much better after cleaning my face as you can see like all that little debris that was left off really fell and a little bit more of that dead skin fell off and my face is just looking really shiny and clean but yeah this is just a last clip on how my skin is looking for today and i will update you guys tomorrow morning and whenever i go see rachel Good morning guys, it is the next day and I just woke up so I have my retainer on, sorry, but we are seeing peeling on my forehead. Um, one last little thing of dead skin, still have some here, and just a little flakes on my face, but I think everything is practically gone. I'm gonna wash my face and I have the appointment with Rachel at 2.45, so I'll make sure to record when I see her. hi guys so a few days have passed already it is now sunday and i just want to give you an update on how my skin is finally looking without all of the dead skin peeled off and here you go let me flip over the camera so you can straight up tell that my acne scars are definitely not gone completely of course i can still see them you can see them so will i get a chemical peel again uh, i'm not sure honestly i still have to see if this one was even worth it or not it felt amazing the day i went with rachel after my skin was just looking so nice and supple but now it just looks like back to normal um which is a bummer but i can tell some of my little fine lines like my smile line has diminished a lot so 
I don't know. I'm not gonna do another chemical peel for now. I'm probably just gonna let my skin do its own thing. Because I hope you really enjoyed this journey and me filming my chemical peel experience. Have you ever gotten one before? Let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!